Hello, in this video we will be discussing the concept 42B teacher talk. At this point, please make sure you have completed this teacher talk before continuing on. So for part one, it says the distance between the center of a circle and a point on the circle is the what? So that's just a vocabulary term and we call that the radius. So for part two, it says to write the equation of a circle with the center of negative one, four, and a point on the circle of three, negative two. So I went ahead and just drew a really quick picture. So we know the center is negative one, four. We know we have a point three, negative two, and we have the radius, which is what we would need for the equation of the circle. So before we can write the equation of the circle, we first need to figure out what that radius is. And we can do that by determining the distance. So here's the distance formula, right? It's the square root of the quantity x2 minus x1 squared plus the quantity y2 minus y1 squared. So what you want to do is plug in the information. Now pay attention. I could have had set this problem up differently than you. So as long as you have the same end result, you are okay. There's two ways to set up the distance problem depending on whether you use the negative 1, 4 as your x1, y1 or the 3, negative 2 as your x1, y1. So what I did is I went ahead and plugged in my information. So I started with the negative one for my x's and subtracted the three and have that squared. And then I would have the four minus the negative two squared. Uh, and then what we're gonna do is solve algebraically. So we're gonna get negative four squared plus six squared. And from there, combining our like terms and solving, we're gonna get the square root of 52 as our radius. So look over your work. You should still get, no matter what, the square root of 52, like I did. So now that we know the radius and we have the center, we can write the equation of the circle to get x plus one squared plus y minus four squared equals 52. Remember, you have to square your radius. So the square of square root of 52 will be 52. So pay attention to that.